How's it going guys? RNG Life here and today we're gonna be jumping into rank with my brand new deck my red eyes deck that I just completed thanks to farming Super Joey level 40 or actually Super Super Joey level 30 actually dropped like two of them two of these red eyes spirits so it's kind of weird uh, so don't neglect farming level 30 he can drop the cards you need uh, all right so I did manage to get two copies of Red Eyes Insight, which I think is okay. I mean, I would run three, because it really makes the deck do what it needs to do. And I also have three Red Eyes Spirit, which I'm definitely running. On addition, In addition to that, I'm also running two Dragon's Rebirth, which I did have to buy one extra structure deck for four bucks. Uh, so, so far, the cost of this deck is probably around four dollars, because I did have to pay for that one and this one. Uh, but we are running these cards. We're running three red eyes and some draw power. So that's it, it. So overall, it is a pretty good deck. I mean, I haven't gotten any losses. I, I got a loss against one AI because I drew a like, completely bad hand with just Exploder Dragon. And instead of tributing him with this or whatever, I let him clash and die, which was probably the, dumb, the wrong move. Alright, but today we're going to be jumping into ranked with this new deck. I'm going to show off its power. And we're going to see just how strong Red Eyes can be with his new build. Alright, so let's go ahead and just jump right into ranked. And let's see how we do. Alright, and let's see. Health spawn. Okay, sounds like he's going to be really edgy. And he's got Mako. Oh, cool. Alright, so we're going up against the Mako deck. And alright, so... And we are using Kaiba with peak performance with this Red Eyes deck. Uh, so I don't know, it, it might feel kind of blasphemous to make the almighty Kaiba run freaking Joey Wheeler's card, but uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I think it works really well with peak performance. All right, so right off the bat, we have a pretty, I guess, strong hand, which is it's all about the beatdown right now. So we can go ahead and start off with... I would say I would say start off with the Red Eyes Wyvern. Uh, I mean I do have this card, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that. And we're gonna go ahead and see what we got right now. Since we have this 2,000 attack, we really do need more Red Eyes Wyvern. And yeah, but that's pretty much all this deck really needs. More Red Eyes Wyvern. Uh, all right, so uh, let's see what our opponents got. And I hope you guys had luck with I'll Super Joey because I got lucky right at the very I end on the like the last position. day. Of, of his actual farming or that he would show up he, he finally managed to give me the cards I wanted so there was that because for the longest time I just had one and one uh, all right so he's obviously running that I guess water deck kind of thing uh, so I think we should be able to handle it we got that dragon's rebirth all right it's looking good uh, so right now we're definitely gonna go ahead and set that uh, we can we can bring him out Come on, let me let me do my thing. All right, you gotta bring him out. I could go ahead and pitch Red Eyes, just in case he does kill it with like a monster effect. I could. Uh, that's the reason I run Vanguard, cause I don't have enough of the support. Uh, but let's see, cloning doesn't that make an exact copy of it? Another 1900. It doesn't really matter to be honest. I mean, I, I can still run over. Um, cause I can run over one, and I can also super rush headlong one of them. Uh, but we are gonna go ahead and do this, so it doesn't even matter, cause I still gain. I still get stronger, so, bam, get a little bit of a buff there, see if he can stop me, he cannot, alright, cool, uh, let's go ahead and kind of run over something, uh, so we got Super Rush, and we have that Dragon's Rebirth, which we're not going to use yet, alright, so this deck, it's really good at, like, just completely wrecking your opponent in one turn, because we run triple red Eye Spirit, and we run two of that uh, Dragon's Rebirth. So, okay, there we go. He's got a uh, metal morph. He would have been able to clash with this other guy, so would have been that. But we are gonna kill that second one though. And if he does try to clash me out, I do super rush headlong because I kind of want what's his face to be destroyed by uh, by a uh, hard effect. That's why this guy has synergy with his deck, because Vanguard, if, if he is destroyed with a card effect, I do get a free red eyes out on the field. So this deck is all about some special summoning red eyes. So, let's see, he's probably just going to end. Oh, he's actually going to go attack. Oh, yeah, because he has to, because he middle more. Uh, but I do have... Bam! This is going to stop your attack. Right off, right? This is going to stop your attack, big time. Uh, I keep losing train of thought for some reason. I keep 
keep getting confused about what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know if you guys pick up on that, but I, I sound really stupid. Uh, but yeah, we have we, we already took out that threat, which is no problem. We can we can deal damage with him and then activate this other card and get a free red eyes out on the field. Uh, we do have that exploder dragon, which I'm gonna summon just because I might uh, just kill it with my uh, this this effect. Uh, Dragon for birth, but for now, let's go ahead and deal damage. I could, I could poke him with uh, Exploder. Oh, there it is. All right, so that's cool. Uh, in defense, obviously. Probably the best move. If I put an attack, I'll just Exploder into it. Um, I'm not in the game. I'm gonna battle. All right, so I can still kill that thing. I don't get to OTK completely, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat Exploder. Yeah, he doesn't know what my back row is, so I mean I'm gonna save that for when I can like completely wreck my opponent. But so far this deck has proven to be pretty strong. Uh, I think the worst thing he can possibly have might be a Daedalus, which if it does come out, it I guess it, it can yeah I guess it can kill my my red eyes. So whatever. Yeah, because we won't have any fields. I, I think. Daedalus is 2600. So, or no, it's 2800, I think. I, I'm not 100% sure of the, the stats for that card right now, but pretty sure Red Eyes can't kill it by itself. Alright, so we have that Red Eye Spirit. Uh, let's go ahead and set. Now, we're gonna go ahead and kill this thing. Whatever it may be. It's probably a Yomi Ship. If it is a Yomi Ship, I get a free Red Eyes. Alright, that's not a Yomi ship at all. I could have killed it with uh, this other guy then. Meaning, I mean, there's really no downside to attacking with Exploder Dragon now that I think about it. Since you don't really, I mean, you don't take damage from its attacks. I mean, you can't even deal damage to your opponent. So, oh yeah, I forgot I had Red Eyes Quiver in the grave. Um, I am going to hold off from that because I can technically bring back Red Eyes Wyvern. So, I do have these cards that can target both of them. So for now, I'm, I'm good. If I want, I can special summon two red eyes and completely wreck my opponent. So now that he is doing that, I think, now he's just set and pass. I think I got this game in the bag. All right, so we got that red eyes zombie dragon, which we run just because it's a level seven red eyes, which you could pitch for the draw effect or just to buff these guys or whatever. Uh, that's mainly the reason I run it. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and hit with uh, uh, let's see, I shouldn't tribute for that. You don't really ever need to tribute for it. Uh, so right now we're just gonna poke, see what it is. I don't take damage from it. All right, cool. I don't take damage, uh, and I cannot run over what he's got, but I can go ahead and activate these cards. So let's go ahead and activate. Let's start going. All, let's start going all out. So we're gonna go out for for this guy. He's gonna come out. And then, just to, just for that disrespect, we're also gonna get rid of Exploder Dragon. Here's my face down card. Dragon's Rebirth. We're gonna activates. banish Exploder. Cause he doesn't seem to be attacking very often. And we're gonna bring back Red Eyes Wyvern. Since it is a Red Eyes. So we have that extra 2000 attack on board. Which I'm gonna definitely hit him with. And now we should have game. So, I, I'm telling you guys, this deck is strong. This deck is really strong. It is explosive. You were a word All right, so we got that win, no problem. And our opponent was using a pretty decent deck. Um, I don't know if he just didn't draw into the sharks, but uh, let's see. We no more levels on Kaiba. All right, and what rank are we? Silver five? Hell yeah, we're silver rank five, which I mean raises our chances slightly of, of seeing stronger opponents, which is good because I actually want to test this deck out against stronger opponents. All right, so. Uh, now that we have that, let's go ahead and just jump right into the next one. Alright, and who are we going up against now? I can't read that at all, but alright. He's going up against another Seto Kaiba, which if he is running peak performance, we're going to get a double boost. And let's see, okay, so he's going to, if he wins, he's going to gain a rank. We're going to try to stop him. Uh, oh, he's got a 28 card deck. That is terrible. He's probably got like a, all kinds of fusion cards in there. All right, so we're gonna get double boosted. Ooh! Oh my Challenge God! Me. We have two red eyes inside. We didn't draw a monster, but oh, what happened over there? What the hell? Oh, he's got fusion gate. I know he's got fusion gate. He's gonna he's gonna play it face down. 
I don't know why, but see, going for Newt right off the bat, pretty cool, no problem, he's got that structure deck, so he does have some some pretty good cards, oh my god, we're, we're drawing way too many, too, too many traps, he's gonna have like an all trap hand eventually, uh, so let's go ahead and send Relics to the Grave, and I'm gonna add, you can only add one card at the moment, which I mean, if they had another Red Eyes spell card or something, like the... If you can search the Red Eyes draw card, that would be so awesome. But, unfortunately, we cannot do that. So that's... Uh, that's kind of lame. But, for now, we don't really need to set all of these. I mean, we can... We can we can scare our opponent and try setting a bunch, but... I think we're good here. I think we're good with just the Red Eyes Spirits, because we only have a Red Eyes in the grave. So, if he does try to attack us, we're going to bring out Red Eyes and intercept. So, for now... Let's see what our opponent can do. Draw. He's probably gonna try to target it to bring out something and then tribute or whatever. Uh, we'll, we'll have to we'll have to wait and see. Oh, he's just straight into battle. Watch Fair you. enough, not a problem at all. We're gonna bring out a free red eyes, and it's cool because I love this card because you bring out a free red eyes from the grave, which your deck automatically it's it's like meant to set uh, red eyes to the grave. Uh, so you bring red eyes out, and then it it doesn't even stay on the field like a call of the haunted. So it's awesome. And let's see, what else do we have? I mean, he's not gonna attack us, so he's just gonna end. And we're not gonna target the monsters with anything, so we're good there. And ooh, we don't have the Red Eyes draw card, that sucks. But uh, we do have this card that thins out our deck a bit more. At least I have a, another Red Eyes. I keep sending the one in my hand to the grave and that annoys me sometimes. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and send that one. We could bring it out now. We really, could, we really could, but I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I have messed up and activated the card on the field instead of uh, adding it. Or instead of uh, clicking on add. Uh, so right now we're going to go ahead and set that. Um, we're going to go all out. We're just going to go ahead and set this. because I don't think we've run that many. I mean, we could have drawn a red eyes spell or something. But we are going to end up drawing or special summoning a red eyes right now. So it doesn't matter. Alright, so look. We're going to deal some damage. And then on top of that, we're going to activate Red Eye Spirit to get that free Red Eyes out on the field. Man, this deck is so strong. This deck is so strong. And now our opponent is on his last 100,000 life points, pretty much. Uh, so let's see how he can bounce back from this. I mean, I don't know if he goes for like a Blue Eyes or something. I mean, that might be one of the dangers of this deck like it, it can't handle it can't handle really strong monsters but that's why i'm running a super rush headlong and two exploder dragons so you can just kind of run into anything and i told you of the fusion gate i called it from the beginning uh so he's gonna he's gonna get, he's gonna get a fusion right now which is pretty interesting i mean if he does manage to kill one of our red eyes we could pretty much red eye spirit one of them back and what are you doing? oh the buster blader that's Kind of, kind of countering our deck. Uh, this is gonna be actually pretty cool. That's gonna be really interesting. Does he always make them be in defense though? Uh, he always does piercing too. Also, cannot activate their effects. Yeah. All right. So I think these guys are just in defense for now. I am gonna take some damage. Quite a bit of damage. Hopefully. We draw something to kind of counter because we had a really kind of cloggy hand, but we should be all right. All right, so let's see what we get. We came really close to taking out our opponent. All right, Vanguard is not the card I need. It is actually kind of a terrible card, so let's see. We could... We only have Red Eyes in the grave, don't we? Yeah, one Red Eyes. Uh, so we got a pretty cloggy hand, but uh, the, way I, the way I look at it, we, we have nothing, really. Um... I didn't draw a single Exploder Dragon or a Super Rush Headlong, which would have been nice if I did. So, let's see. I would have just clashed it into one, but I, nah, I think we lose right now. Uh, we cannot stop that Buster Blader guy. He's, he's made to destroy dragons. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's game. We, we just completely lose. That's, that kind of sucks. Uh, but yeah, we, we lose. We can't stop it. Oh, well. Yeah, that, that was like the perfect counter in my deck. You can't run dragons against Buster Blader. All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and do one more uh, since we did get that freaking loss, man. We got that loss. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do one more and try to make it into gold rank. All right, so let's go ahead and just jump right in the next one. What the hell? What happened? No! Connection error. That was... Oh, and I was going to think I quit. 
<laughs> no! He's gonna think I quit, dude. What the hell happened? All right, so we got kicked out for some reason, which is weird. Um, but let's go ahead and just jump right into the next one, I guess. All right, going up against the next one. Who we got? Alex Gibo, 27. Uh, no problem. They're running Joel Wheeler, the rightful wielder of Red Eyes. So we're gonna we're gonna start beating him down with her with his own card. Uh, oh, we don't want to lose. We do not want to lose. That would suck. You have no chance. All right. There's a draw card and a red eyes. All right, that's good. I don't, for whatever reason, I just don't draw these cards, and it's kind of weird because they're really good. But I, I didn't want to run three because I don't know. I didn't feel very consistent. Uh, send a card from your deck to the graveyard. Yes. We're gonna go ahead and send a red eyes to the grave. So we can have two, uh, so we can just bring them out, so no problem here. We're going to set both of these so we can start set, uh, summoning both of them next turn. And we're going to go ahead and, since we're going first, we're going to set Exploder. So if he does hit it and kill it, he's going to lose his monster and he's going to have an open field for us to just wreck with double red eyes. So this is kind of an OTK hand, and let's see what our opponent's got. I set a card. Huh? I mean, he's just he's just setting cards. Uh, well, come on, get him on, get him on. This. What do you got? What do you got? Okay, weird, but all right. He's got Kaiser Seahorse for some reason. I don't know what deck he could be running. Don't fail me now. All right, go ahead, kill it. There we go. All right, and our monster activates, so get wrecked. And we're gonna get to go all out next turn. So that's pretty good. All right, finally ended. Okay, I, I have to cut that out. It was it was quite a bit of waiting. That was weird. Uh, so, oh my god, we were getting brick hands all day. Brick hands all day. I swear. That's why I didn't want to run four of red eyes cards because they were just gonna brick. I think I need to run maybe one more of the draw cards. Uh, but for now, we're going to try to make it game. He does have one set card, so that can possibly stop us. But we are going to go ahead and activate both Red Eyes Spirit to bring out both Red Eyes. So, one. And we're going to chain the second one. Hope I don't target the same one with both. I will not. Alright, we're good. And we're swarming the field with two free Red Eyes. Hell yeah. Alright. And we should have game right now. We'll now battle. Now. Game and game. There we go. All right, and that is how this deck operates. Uh, you kind of do brick quite a bit because of the hands that you get, but I think this deck is really good. It has a lot of potential. The ability to just special summon a red eyes for free uh, and to search and to thin out your deck. You can thin out your deck by adding a card to your hand and sending one to the grave with that red eyes in sight it is so good man it, it thins out your deck so you can only draw the cards you need uh, but you do have to draw them first I don't know uh, I don't know if, if one thing you should do is maybe run triple insight triple of the red eyes draw card uh, I'm just not sure if that if that would be better but I think four red eyes in, in your hand four three of the normal monsters one of the red eye zombie or something maybe maybe one more I, I don't know I, I wouldn't want to risk running five but I think four and then three and three of the spells I and maybe maybe two or three of the of the trap and I think that would be really strong I, I do think so I don't have my third insight but I guess we'll mess around with, the, with this deck in the future since I really like this deck all right but anyway Thank you guys for watching today. Have a great day and see you guys.